Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Cornman34. Smashed a ventriloquist's dummy to pieces. But was this drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. This was posted by Edward Murder Knuckles. You are the world's most frugal supervillain. What's the most amount of damage you can do on the smallest budget? I'd go into big parking lots at night and switch everyone's license plates. It'd take a while for anyone to notice, but by the time they did, it'd be chaos. Cops would run a plate and it wouldn't match the car. People would get ticketed and arrested and be confused. And so many people would have to take time out of their day to go to the DMV and lower the efficiency of wherever they worked. The long lines at the DMV would also decrease the morale of the people and their efficiency would be further decreased. It would cost me a wrench and cost the city dozens of hundreds of dollars. Mwah, uh, 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 uh. Set stuff on fire. Forests, houses, you name it. That can cost extremely little and all I would need is food. It would be a shitty thing to do though. Go to the local drugstore and poke holes in all of the condoms. Go to the dollar store and buy sponges and some yarn. Soak the sponges in water. Ball them up as small as possible, then tie yarn around them to keep them in their small state. When the sponge dries, cut the yarn off. Next, take your yarny sponge balls to a public toilet or to the home of your arch nemesis. Go into the bathroom and flush the toilet. As the water begins to recede, toss your sponge ball in and watch it go down the hole. Said sponge bob should clog up the pipes, back up the toilet and cause agony to all those who flush. Diabolical, I know. Total cost, $3.50. Piss in a reservoir. 38 million gallons of fresh water wasted. Zero dollars. I'd write rude letters to presidents, dictators, kings, signed with each other's names. Hey Obama, you're a big meanie. From Putin. Putin, you're a... Your mother sucks cocks in hell. Obama. Number one, make a friend in the petroleum industry. Zero dollars. Two, start working on an oil rig. Plus fifty dollars an hour. Number three, don't follow any of the safety rules or regulations. Zero dollars. Number four, explosion. Zero dollars. Five, spill damaging an ecosystem potentially beyond repair. Cost me zero. Six, settlements. Zero, not my money. One, steal people's pets. Two, Wait required amount of time until they post a missing slash lost animal poster with reward. Number three, return pet. Number four, rolling in the Benjamins. Number one, steal people's pets. Number two, wait until they post a missing slash lost animal poster. Number three, return pet, refuse reward. Number four, they'll at the very least invite you for dinner. Five. Ask to use the bathroom. Six, use this opportunity to look for valuables. Seven, now that you know the layout of the house and where the valuables are, break in at night and steal valuables. Number eight, move to the next small town and do it again. Much more money. Number one, steal people's pets. Number two, wait for missing pet poster. Number three, refuse reward, get invited to dinner. Number four, ask to use bathroom, get lay out of house. Number five, come next night and steal their kids. Number six, wait for missing kids posters. Number seven, ignore. Number eight, raise children as own and teach to steal pets. Number one, steal bicycle, free. Two, steal pack of cigarettes and lighter, free. Number three, Ride around world while eating roadkill and throw burning cigarettes into dry forests. Free. 4. Watch as deforestation 
from major wildfires ruin atmosphere for all civilization. 3. 5. Take winters off to spend quality time with family. 3. Total expenditure, gym member savings, equals $420 net gain. Deforestation causes animals to flee into roads, causing more roadkill. Well planned. Well planned. Become friends with anthrax supplier. Free. Find out where the anthrax is stored. Free. Kill anthrax supplier with knife. $20 for the knife. Steal the anthrax, load it into supplier's car and drive it to a large city's water supply. $36.50 for fuel and snacks. Pour anthrax in water supply causing hundreds, if not thousands of sick or dead people costing the city a fortune to decontaminate pipes and reservoir and pumping stations. Total cost, $56.50. I'd be the Sandman. Basically, I'd get sand from beaches and terrorise the world by getting it into people's clothes and shoes. And if any superhero tries to get in my way... Pocket sand. No! Pretend to be forming a petition for a noble humanitarian issue and collect people's names and email addresses on the street. Then sign all of them up for as many email subscriptions for random sites and stores as you can think of. Bonus for getting their postal addresses and doing the same thing. Think of the paper waste. I break into Tiffany's at midnight. Do I go for the vault? No, I go for the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the cops come and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. 30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stash the chandelier. Total cost? Two plane tickets. Wait around at the airport and put condom wrappers in married people's luggage. Go around with a screwdriver, unscrewing everything. You monster! Cut a hole in the floor of your car. Purchase in bulk large gauge nails. At random intervals, drop handfuls of nails onto the road, causing mayhem and frustration. Frugal villainy? Nailed it. How much is a small pack of Lego again? Run a thin line of capsicum extract on public restroom seats. I start up a lemonade stand using stolen lemons. I save up the proceeds from this until I can branch out and hire small children to do the dirty work at pennies an hour. I proceed to work my way up the market until eventually I'm running a massive lemonade factory with enslaved children and dumping any industrial waste directly into the stream, forcing the locals to drink either my lemonade or the polluted water. I'm doing this all at a massive profit. I then use my massive wealth to gain influence with the government lobby to relax environmental regulations and labour laws. Eventually, I've garnered so much political power that I have the phone number of several world leaders. After all, I paid for their campaigns with my blood lemonade cash. So one day, as I sit on my golden lemon-shaped throne, I decide I'm going to call up the President of the United States and invite him over for a discussion. You see, there are people over in Russia that aren't particularly in favour of my delicious lemonade. I proposed to him that he put a little military pressure on them as encouragement. A few police actions here and there, you know the deal. The president gets mad. Are you crazy? You want me to bring about World War III over your damn lemonade? That's when I enact the final stage of my evil plan and punch the president right in the testicles. As he coils in pain and I'm tackled to the ground by secret service agents, I smile slyly. They could throw me in prison torture me, but the damage had already been done. I have punched the most powerful man on earth, the leader of the three world, in the dick, and made a profit while doing so. And they can't take that away from me. 
What nefarious things would you get up to if you were a supervillain? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who murdered a dummy? It was... A drunk. I was terrified of Slappy from Goosebumps growing up and one night while drunk I decided to take revenge on a dummy in my garage. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.